Standard abrasion tests are performed with the specimen load arm in the vertical position. To install the load arm in this position, insert the load arm pivot pin in the slotted hole on the back plate and secure with the nut provided. Now fit the load arm guide block. This keeps the load arm steadily aligned with the test wheel. Fit the test wheel with the cap head screw and cap washer provided. Connect and adjust the counterbalance spring so that the load arm hangs vertically with no load on the test wheel. Note that it may be necessary to adjust the position of the load arm pivot in the slot to ensure that the load arm is vertical when the specimen is in contact with the wheel. Now insert and trim the length of the loading rod. This should be adjusted to bring the specimen lightly into contact with the wheel. Seat the specimen in the holder and ensure that it aligns with the wheel. For a dry sand and rubber wheel experiment, adjust the position of the abradent feed nozzle close to the surface of the wheel and above the inlet to the contact. Fit the guard and secure with the knobs provided. Switch on the machine cabinet at the isolator. The green mains indicator above the isolator will be illuminated. Press the blue reset button on the machine to enable the motor. Adjust the speed potentiometer to the desired speed. Then press the stop button. Adjust the pressure regulator to apply the required test load. Once the load is set, Turn the shut-off valve to the exhaust position to remove the load. Set the revolution counter to the required number of wheel revolutions. Pressing the blue reset button will reset the revolution counter to zero and start the motor. As soon as the motor starts, turn the ball valve to start the sand flowing, then open the shut-off valve to apply the load. Note that the wheel must be in motion with the sand flowing before the load is applied. To convert to precision horizontal feed, start by removing the test wheel. Next, remove the load arm guide block.
Now remove the abrasion nozzle clamp and the counterbalance spring. Undo the nut securing the load arm to the back plate and place the load arm on the bottom of the chamber. Next, remove the pivot pin block from the load arm, rotate through 180 degrees and refit. Replace the test wheel. Now fit the load arm horizontally as shown. Fit the pillar and counterbalance spring as shown. Adjust the spring tension to lift the specimen just out of contact with the test wheel. Now fit the load arm guide block. Note that the PTFE pillars are mounted through slotted holes allowing the clearance to be adjusted. To reposition the pneumatic load bellows, first disconnect the force transducer cable. Next, support the assembly and remove the cap head screws. Place the assembly at the location provided on the top of the machine and secure with the cap head screws.
reconnect the force transducer. Next, insert and trim the load rod. Finally, remove the sand hopper and reposition on the precision abradent feed system. We now follow the same sequence for starting a test, but with the abradent flow started by starting the feed motor. Slurry abrasion tests in accordance with ASTM G105 and B611 are performed with the load arm in the vertical position and with the pivot position adjusted to ensure that the arm hangs vertically when in contact with the specified wheels. The slurry bath is attached to the machine backplate as shown and the test wheels are fitted with paddles provided. Note that for both tests the direction of rotation of the wheel is counterclockwise in this machine so that the inlet to the contact is immersed in slurry. <laughs> 